So, you want to assemble a set of eBay heads, but you're not quite sure where to start. Well, you're in luck. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about all the parts you'll need to assemble a set of eBay heads yourself. I'm Ben, and this is Diving Garage. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm going to address all of the questions I've been getting over the past, really, year with uh, dealing with eBay heads, assembling them, picking them, the whole nine. All right, so we're going to jump right into eBay here, find us a set of heads. Uh, so what I'm going to type in here is 350 small block Chevy. Oh, look, there it is. Small block Chevy aluminum heads. Um, I'm going to tell you right from the jump, if you see anything that's assembled, ready to go, ready to drop on your engine, that's not it. Don't buy those. Um, why? Because really the valve springs are the problem, and uh, they're just junky. They don't provide enough pressure, and they'll, just, they'll ruin everything. So we're looking for a set of bare heads. Uh, a couple options you'll find is chamber size and you'll find straight plug, angle plug. Um, I'm running a set of angle plugs, and to be honest, I wish I would've got the straight plugs. Does it give a little bit better burn if you get the angle plug? Yeah, but I don't know. I think I would just go with the straight plug if I was doing it over again. Um, so looking here at the very top one, uh, we got a set of heads for 350 bucks. Uh, you can see the date on the screen. Um, don't hold me up on the prices, guys. If you're watching this a year, two, three years later, uh, there's nothing really I can do about that. So the first one set looks pretty good. Uh, you want to stay away from these. Here looks this looks like a good set here. But everybody wants to know what was the one that I went with. So this set right here, DNA Motoring, this was like the OG eBay head. Um, the, that one's fine. What you what you really find is a lot of these is the same one over and over and over. But this one here is the one that I actually went with, the Deep Motor. Why? Uh, I think it was the cheapest at the time. Uh, but these ones are pretty good. Uh, I know a lot of eBay heads have caught a lot of shade over the years, but... I think now they're decent enough to where you can run them and not really have to check twice. Um, yeah, so these are the ones here. You'll see these are a angle plug. Um, what you want to do is check the description and look for the details. So these do these take a 202 1.6 valve. They got a two angle valve job, which honestly it's good enough. But if you're looking for performance, you're probably not looking at eBay heads. But uh, it'll get the job done. Uh, this one does have the angle plugs. This one has a 64cc chamber. That's important because that affects your final compression ratio. Um, you want to stay away from anything like 76, 74, even 68. If you can get a 64cc chamber like this one, that's probably your best bet. Uh, and it comes with guys and seats installed. A lot of people complain that the seats fall out. I haven't had a single issue. Uh, the guys are nice and straight for me. Um, one thing I did, though, is I just touched them up with a uh, valve guide cutter, and you know what? I really didn't even need to. They came ready for 530 uh, Viton seals. Yeah, and these ones look pretty good. So if I'm starting out a new fresh build, I would feel totally confident grabbing two of these, adding to cart. All right, cool. So you got your heads. Now what do I do next, right? So let's start dressing them out. Um, one of the first things you're going to want to pick are the rocker arm studs. Uh, this is a set of studs that I used, and they work just fine. Um, you are, you're going to need two of these um, because this is only eight, so you're going to need two sets. Um, the only gripe I had with these is that I wish they were just a touch longer. I know they sell them at a longer length. These are uh, just what just about what one and three quarter inches, just under that. Um, but these ones did work, and they work fine for the rockers that I used. Uh, but this, this decision here is going to depend on the rocker you use. Then after that, um, you're going to want some push rock guides. So I went back to the Evil Bay, found some of these uh, Elgin push rock guides for 5 16 inch push rods. Uh, that's something you're going to want to make sure that you match to the push rods you plan on using, which also determines or uh, was depended upon the lifters you're using. That's a completely different story, completely different video. Uh, but these ones work for me just fine. Uh, these The holes where the rocker stud goes into, uh, which is right here, that's a little bit bigger. So you got some wiggle room to line it up. And a lot of people like the two-piece ones. Nothing wrong with that. I went with a one-piece one just for simplicity, and it worked out really good. And now let's check out the valves we're going to be using. Uh, this here is just a set of off-the-shelf 
202 stainless steel valves. Um, nothing wrong with these. Could you go nicer if you want? You want to get some titanium valves? Sure. But if we're trying to keep this as budget friendly as we can, this is the ticket right here. And all you're going to do for the exhaust side is just get the get the size that the head calls for, which I think it was 1.6. And you can just do stainless steel as well. Uh, when I was setting up my uh, eBay heads, all I did was I took some valve grinding compound and obviously had them upside down. And I got a um, valve grinding tool. with the, It's like the little stick with the two suction cups. And you put some of the compound down on the perimeter of the valve. And you just do your thing. You can do the drill method. Nothing wrong with that. I just kind of wanted to try it the OG way, you know. Uh, it worked out fine. Uh, what you're really looking for when you're lapping valves is you're looking for an even wear all the way around. Uh, when I got my eBay heads, they were, they were fine. There wasn't really an issue with anything. Um, and these valves, they, again, they'll do just fine. Just find yourself a matching exhaust valves. Next step. All right, so this is probably the most important piece of your entire head build right here, the springs. This will determine a lot of other pieces that come, come behind it. Uh, this is the set that I with some comp, went with, some Comp Cam's Beehive Springs. Um, to me, nowadays, if you're building an engine, you should be using Beehive Springs. Uh, for a bunch of reasons, just to be quick, they're more stable, uh, provide faster revving, and uh, you might find this also seen as like a LS7 spring. It's just a style of spring. Don't get caught up in all the LS names. Um, so once you figure out the kind of springs that you want, um, you scroll down, uh, again, I'm on the ComCam website, and it'll tell you all the rest of the parts that you need. So this isn't really a mystery. So if we go to the next thing here, uh, on the Summit site, we got some ComCam's uh, retainers, and this is 787-16. And if we pop back over to the uh, ComCam's website for the springs, you'll see that the 787-16 is right here under steel retainers, right? Okay, and then also if you're running um, Beehive Springs are a little smaller and you're going to need some locators. And what this does is this actually sits on the head, on the aluminum portion, and uh, the valve guy protrudes through it. So that way your steel uh, valve spring isn't digging into your aluminum head and making a whole mess of problems. Um, and this also it has a raised section here in the middle that catches the inner edges of the valve spring again to locate it. So, all right, once we got that figured out, we can move on to your valve seals. Now I talked about these real quick. Uh, these are 530 seals and the ones that I got came ready for 530 seals. Uh, again, I touched them up, wasn't really required, uh, but I did it anyways. And when I put these on, I just used a socket, but it worked out fine. But there is actually an install tool for these uh, but if you want to just use a socket, that works fine too. Just uh, Maybe if you have a set of old valves from an old set of heads, stick it in there, line it up, put the seal down, and just smack that thing. And it worked out fine. And these are just some valve locks. Uh, standard 7 degree for 11 30 second valve stem. And that's pretty easy. And this was something that a lot of people asked me about. Um, the oil fell and I'll tell you right now uh, when you're doing uh, eBay heads and you're doing any side of roller style rockers which is what I went with uh, you really want to run uh, tall valve covers and when you do that um, it allows you to do other things like this so you can do a bolt-on oil filler and you just drill a hole into the valve cover and this just bolts on it comes with a, comes with a nice little gasket here but one thing to note when you're doing this is the, these screws that it comes with, those little bolts, once you get this installed and you're happy with it, you gotta trim them or else your rocker will come up and it'll probably touch that bolt and you're gonna have interference issues and a whole mess of problems. Um, so make sure you trim these bolts once you're, once you're happy with the install. Now one more thing I wanna mention too is when you're going to measure the install height for your valve springs, again, it'll tell you on, if you pick those comp springs, it'll tell you on there, if you pick a different brand, it'll tell you exactly what the install height is supposed to be so you want to make yourself get, make sure to get yourself one of these. This is a valve spring install height checker. And um, one thing to note is if you're running beehive springs, your retainer is actually going to sit inside this little lip. As where if you're running, uh, I guess, standard style springs, the retainer will sit on the top. But if you're running beehives, you have to account for that, um, I guess, that recess when you're measuring. That was one thing that almost tripped me up. 
and it really could have caused a lot of problems. But uh, way back when I was doing that, uh, a couple of you guys helped me out, and I can't I really thank you for that. That was that could have been a big mistake. Um, but yeah, make sure you pick up one of these. I got this one on the Amazon. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you get. It's pretty easy. All you do is you set the locator down, set this down, and then you, you put the um, keeper and the retainer on the top. You spin it up until you get to the right, uh, until all the slack is gone. And then you take note of where you are and you can disassemble it all and measure it with a set of micrometers. Um, but again, make sure you check for that recess if you're running beehive springs. Standard style springs, you'll be okay. You can just measure it just like that. All in all, guys, it's really not hard. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. If you have any uh, concerns or you're just not sure what to do, um, let me know and I'll do another video explaining anything else that you need. But moral of the story here is, guys, don't be afraid. Dive into those eBay heads and I really think they're worth it, especially if you're looking for um, a good budget power build because who wants to spend I don't know, $1,000 on one head when we're building a V8, guys, so you need two. So who wants to spend two grand? on just the heads when you can probably do a whole engine for maybe two and a half grand, maybe three grand. Come on now. It's worth it. I say do it. And hey, it's all part of the adventure, right? Figuring stuff out. I, it took me a long time to figure out the combo of things I was looking to do. So if it's taking you a while, don't freak out. Take your time and just try something. Um, it took me a minute to get all this figured out, but I wanted to make sure I shared it with you guys. So that way you can hopefully build your engine faster than I did. And maybe even for a little bit cheaper, depending on what you're doing. Um, these Beehive Springs will set you back a little bit and you can run the standard style ones, but that's just my preference. You don't have to run those. But using the combo that I just gave you, all that stuff will work. So hopefully this helps you out so that you can know at least, have a better idea of what to get, a good place to get you started so it can get you, uh, get you on with your build. So I'll mention it real quick down below. Um, I just launched my merch store um, about a couple weeks ago. I'm not going to make a huge deal about merch. You, I know you can see it. You know it's there. But I wanted to call it out for a couple videos just in case you didn't know. Uh, there are links right here down below. I got a hat, a couple shirts, and I got new designs on the way. So it would really help me out. I'd appreciate it a lot. And if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Get out there, dive in your next project. Catch you next time. Oh, 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 oh,